Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? What is your boy Money back with another one, fam? And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Frank the Ghost Martin, the undefeated top contender at the lightweight division, looking to put on a hell of a show when he take on Javante Tank Davis, that killer day gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion, the hottest young star in the game, or going to be the face of boxing. And then we have Floyd Money Mayweather himself, or going to be, ain't or going to be, the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champion, the man that, you know, helped revolutionize the boxing game, Mr. 50 and 0, Mr. Billion Dollar Man himself, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, and we know how Floyd get down. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Floyd Money Mayweather, one let Javante Tank Davis know, I'll pull up the Vegas up on you, boy. I'll pull up the Vegas up on you, boy, and I'll show you. That I run this ish. You know what I mean? We all know Floyd and Tank be going back and forth. We all know what Tank just did. Got Floyd Fighter kicked up off the court for June 15th. I don't think Floyd liked that too much. And like I said in my last video, I think that's the reason why Floyd probably had something to, you know, say to Al Heyman. But at the end of the day, it's Javante Tank Davis' card. And what he say goes. But Floyd Mayweather, we all know he loved being the boss of all bosses. And we all know he wanted to let Tank know that, okay, you're doing your little thing right now. You got your little buzz going, but you ain't really running shit. And Javante Tank Davis want to let him know, I really am running shit when it comes to me. You understand? Now, Tank has been very vocal lately, man. Very vocal. And he got a lot of people pissed off. Got a lot of people mad. But this is what they've been asking for from Javante Tank Davis. And now they're getting it, right? A lot of people say Tank don't talk. You know, he let Floyd do X, Y, and Z. He never wanted to fight this fighter, that fighter. But now Tank coming out giving y'all who he is, right, keeping it real, he getting a lot of hate. But just being him. And a lot of y'all don't know what he is because... You know, y'all never really got the full Javante Tank Davis experience. But now y'all getting Tank. And he letting y'all know that, man, I'm really like that. And he ain't banging down from nothing. You say something to him, he's shooting right back at you. Like you say, no safety on this Glock and anybody can get it. And he really been letting that motherfucker go. Now, Frank, Frank got a problem on his hands come June 15th. But it's a problem that he feel like he can handle. You understand? Uh, Frank don't want to get caught up in the Floyd Mayweather and the Javante Tank Davis situation. But he just might get caught up in the Earl Spence and Javante Tank Davis situation. You know what I mean? Because we all know, you know, Earl and Tank been going back and forth and been talking that ish too. But now, you know, Frank, like I said, he can capitalize off this Mayweather and Tank situation, you know, by trying to gain some, some notoriety off of Floyd name and getting Floyd, you know, to pick him against Javante Tank Davis. But you got to be vocal. You know what I'm saying? You got to be vocal. That Mayweather spotlight, you know, is is a spotlight to have, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to capitalize off these things, bro. So, you know, Floyd, he'll use Frank to help try to get back at Tank as well. So it go tit for tat. You dig what I'm saying? Tit for tat. And I'm looking to see, you know, who Floyd picked with Frank and Tank. Or should I say Tank versus Frank? I want to see who he picked to see if he being petty. You understand what I'm saying? These are the things that I look for. But Javante Tank Davis, he going to stand his ground against Floyd Mayweather, bro, as he been doing now. You know what I mean? I know I'm hearing a lot of this and a lot of that. A lot of people talking about what was the reason behind, you know, Tank and Floyd, little situation. A lot of people try to allude to the man's daughter. And, you know, things that I'm not going to touch on, but the things that I will touch on is... Javante Tank Davis wanted to be his own man, and he wanted to go a certain route that Floyd Money Mayweather, you know, was looking at different. You feel me? And I think that's what started everything, you know? And you always got to listen to the fighter when the fighter tell you that they want some because it's their career. You know what I'm saying? It's their career. And just because you are the big dog with all the money and shit like that, and, you know, you feel like you know what's best for him. You have to start taking into consideration that, you know what, this kid might be right. It's his career. It's my job to give him what he's looking for and not just to try to control the entire situation. 
But I think Floyd Money Mayweather was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But now Floyd, you know, he got a problem on his hand with Tank now. Because Tank rising up, he's getting even bigger and bigger in this fight game. And even though, yeah, you did what you did in the sports, Floyd, or it could be the greatest of all time, five division world champion, you know, made all the money that you can make, beat everybody that you can beat, the fight game will continue to go on. And the fight game will continue to get new fans and things of that nature. And Javante Tank Davis is grabbing a lot of new fans. And, you know, the new fans don't give a damn about the past. Some of these dudes just, you know, like who they like. And they want to see knockouts and things of that nature. A lot of fans are not, um, you know, real, real linked into boxing like that to where they know the history of the sport. They just like who they like. Um, Tank is hot right now. We all know how this new age is. The new wave of boxing fans, they like who they like. They don't give a damn about what you did or what you used to do. They go see that you're knocking people out, this, that, and the third, and they go feel like you're the, the best to ever do it. That's the new age wave. You feel me? So Floyd got to understand that Javante Tank Davis is driving a whole different audience. You know what I'm saying? And you can't do nothing about that. You can't do nothing about that. Because once they get their mind made up that they don't like you, then they're going to come at you. And that's what's going to happen with Floyd. You'll have a lot of fans coming at him that's new age babies, but they're going to be loyal to Javante Tank Davis. But now, you know, with Floyd fight again kicked off the court, with Tank coming out bashing Floyd ass, Floyd coming back shooting shots at Tank, right? People go take this as a form of beef. You know what I mean? They're going to take it as a form of beef. And once you start getting fighters kicked off cards and, and you know, can't put that dollar in their pocket and Floyd can't get his percentage, then do become a conflict of interest. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I really want to see what's really going on with Floyd and Al, you know? But Al is doing what's best for Javante Tank Davis because that's his fighter, and he always going to do what's best for the fighters. Um, when it comes to Kamel Moten, he's not an Al Heyman fighter. He's a Floyd Mayweather fighter. Even though Floyd and Al work together, but Al was looking at it like, look, we'll get this kid something better. I'm not going to sit up here and go back and forth with Tank. We got a big card coming up June 15th. Nobody's really coming to see this kid. He got his little fan base. We know he's trying to grow him, but we'll move him to the next card, get him something nice. But right now, we got Tank. We got David Benavidez headlining. I need to focus on that. I don't need to be, you know, going back and forth with him, you know, him probably threaten to say, oh, well, I ain't going to do X, Y, and Z if he ain't off the court. You know, you never know how this shit go. But right now, Javante Tank Davis and Floyd Money Mayweather, they fit a bump here. It's really, really big, bro. Really big. You know what I'm saying? Really big. And I, like I, I always say, hope it don't get to the point of no return, but it look like they head down that path. You feel me? Look like they head down that path. So they really need to understand that both of them are big dogs in this game. And that they need to just, you know, squash the bullshit and stay out of each other's way. That's how I look at it. But, you know, with, with Tank getting Camille Moten up off the court, I think Floyd really feels some type of way. And I think he's looking at Al, and he's going to try to come back at Tank, you know, with some pity. And I'm just waiting to see what it is. So, shouts out to Tank, man. Continue to focus on Frank. Don't get too caught up in the bullshit because one slip-up can be a miss-up. And Tank, I mean, sorry, Frank end up hitting your ass with something. And, 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 you know, you'll be pissed off at yourself. So you better stay focused. Frank, um, good luck, champ. Do your thing. Floyd, grow up, man. I ain't going to say grow up because you as a grown man, but get off the petty shit, leave these kids alone, and continue to do your business. And, and you know, respect these youngsters and let them fly. Straight like that, and money be on to the next.